Paper Crafters, welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. We're going to be making a really quick and easy card today, but one that has just a little touch of elegance because we're going to stamp white onto black cardstock, and I want to show you how you can do that and still make a really quick card. Let's get started. So this is everything that we need to make our card. We're going to be using the Dragonfly Garden Stamp Set. We have a Versamark pad, a tuxedo black uh, dye-based pad, some white embossing powder. We're going to need a heat tool as well, some stamp and seal double-sided adhesive, and I have some gold glitter dots here, and I'm also using just some basic white thick cardstock and black cardstock, and I'll give you the measurements as we're creating. We're first of all going to stamp onto a piece of black cardstock, and this piece is four by five and a quarter. And if you have an anti-static pouch or an embossing buddy, we want to use that first because we're going to be using white embossing powder. So I'm just going to lightly put that over top of where I'm going to be stamping, and I'm going to stamp the large flower. I'm going to be using my Versamark, and because my flower is bigger, I'm going to take my Versamark right on top of my stamp. I'm going to pat it all over with the Versamark and then I'm going to put this straight down onto my card and when you're stamping you want to place it straight down lightly and then you want to press. You don't want to rock it back and forth. You want to just press down so it doesn't move around from side to side otherwise it may give you a blurry image. And this is sticky ink so I'm going to lift it off and you're going to be able to see it because it's actually going to leave a shine there. And now I'm going to take my white embossing powder and I keep my embossing powders in a tray like this rather than using it straight out of the little jar. And I just keep it here and then it's always ready uh, very quickly for me. And then when I'm using my embossing, I give it a little flick on the back and that's gonna take off most of the white powder that didn't stick to any of that ink. I take in a small brush and uh, I just get rid of anything else that's there. And uh, in the anti-static pouch really helped with that. So now I'm just gonna heat that up and I'm just gonna point it right at my embossing powder and let that melt. Now I just take a look at it once I have it done. And if you can see that it's not shiny in some areas, it means that it has not melted. And I can see some of those areas, so I'm gonna go back in and just give it a little bit more heat. Here we go. So that's done. And I'm going to glue that down on top of my piece of white. I'm going to use my stamp and seal to do that. And just get it going here. And I put it all the way around because I want to have a really good seal. I don't want my card to be coming apart when it's in the mail or sitting on somebody's mantle. So I'm just going to glue that down. Then I take a piece and this is just one by two. And I've got for a true friend, which is also out of that stamp set. And because it's smaller, I'm going on top of the stamp pad. And that's my memento. I'm just going to put this on, hopefully get it straight right in the middle of the card. And if I don't, there are two sides to every piece of paper. I do put my stamp pad lids on as quickly as I'm done. And then I'm going to pull in my dimensionals, which are little foam dots that raise the, um, the image that we just stamped a little bit. So I take four of these and put them on the back and then just remove the backing. And I'm gonna put that right on my card up here. And then just to give it a little bit extra, I'm going to take my um, gold glitter dots and I'm going to just put one gold glitter dot on the side up here. Okay, And there is our card. So a really quick and easy card. You can embellish it up a little bit more, but I like it very plain and I just love the black and white. There you go. All done. I hope this idea gave you a little bit of inspiration and that you're going to give it a try too. If it did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you live in Canada and you don't yet have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal. You can purchase any of the supplies I use by heading over to my blog at www.designwithjoe.ca. And if you're not yet on my mailing list, why not pop on over there and get yourself signed up? Thanks very much and have a great paper crafting day.